and this is New Key. So today I'm going to be taking you through a short tutorial on how to use the yoga wheel. So it's about just under two kilos and this is my wheel. I've, I've got one wheel, I've had it for about four years. It's super sturdy, it's never let me down and it has helped me so much in my back bending. Back bending in itself can be a very challenging and a uh, place that makes people feel quite vulnerable because obviously we're opening our chest and some of these deep back bends can seem very unreachable and unattainable for us. However, the yoga wheel can be a great way to build up your confidence and improve your spinal flexibility. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Let's meet on the mat everyone. There are so many wonderful ways that you can use the yoga wheel to improve your spinal flexibility. And melting heart is certainly one of them. Place your hands on the top of the wheel and then have your knees mat width apart and just start to release your forehead down to the mat. Take a few relaxed breaths here and just try and settle into this deep chest and shoulder opening posture. With your toes resting on top of the wheel, you can come into a different variation of Anahatasana melting heart pose. Let your chest and the chin rest fully on the earth as you reach the arms forwards. A great way to move your spine into deep extension. For those of you interested in practicing your binds here, Sometimes we use straps to help us with this, but we can also use the wheel to aid us into coming into what we call the mermaid pose or king pigeon bind. So all you need to do is just rest your foot into one side of the wheel, wrap your elbow into the other, interlace your fingers and come into this beautiful back bend. For those of you wanting to come into your one leg king pigeon pose, the deep variation then again, slide your foot into one end of the wheel, flip the grip so your elbow is facing forwards, and then maybe you're able to walk the other hand to grip hold of the tip of the wheel. So as you can see, the yoga wheel can really help you with your back bends here in different ways. As normally we'd be using a strap in this instance, we can still use the wheel that gives us a bit of leverage here to obviously help us through this variation if we are unable to reach our toes just yet. This next pose is a version of our Anjanayasana, so it's a low lunge. And imagine as though you are holding your hands in a fist behind you, except the hands are placed on top of the wheel. And this will give you a wonderful opportunity to start to open through the chest and lengthen your spine. Similarly, another variation is where you hold the wheel, reaching all the way back, and think about lengthening your entire spine sinking down into the hips at the same time and really starting to lift the chest all the way up towards the sky. Next we have one of my favorite spinal extensions here. It's where you take a few gentle rocks forwards and backwards and then just allow the yoga wheel to sit very comfortably at the base of your spine. Your legs are completely outstretched. The arms are completely laid back, allowing you to have this beautiful full spinal extension, shoulder and chest opening. So before coming into this pose, you can roll backwards and forwards on the wheel just to massage the spine. And you can use the wheel to come into an assisted fish pose. You can bind the hands behind the wheel, extend your legs fully, and let your tailbone and middle of the spine just rest on the wheel as your chest begins to open up. Make sure that the top of the head is rested fully on the earth for support for the neck. A second variation of the fish pose, if you're feeling more open in the chest, is to place the forearms down on the mat. 
The difference here is that you'll start to feel more of an opening through your triceps and the shoulders. Try not to let the elbows drift apart, keep them close towards the ears. If that version is too much, then half spinal extension in this variation is also a great way to open through your chest and shoulders. It also feels quite deep if you start to reach the arms back. If that's too much, just keep the hands right beside your hips. This is still a wonderful way to open through that shoulders, especially after a long day at the office. This is a version of Half Pigeon Pose, a great way to open your chest and shoulders. Also, because our knees are bent at this stage, we're also having a nice stretch through our quadriceps. Reaching the arms back will allow you to feel this broadening sensation through the chest cavity. When you feel ready, you can reach your hands back and see if you can grab hold of the wheel. Make sure your elbows are pointing forwards, and this is going to take you to your full pigeon pose, Kapotanasana. Next, we have the forearm one-legged wheel pose. So it's where your forearms are on the mat, but you are lifting one leg up towards the sky and alternating between the right and the left leg. It's a great way to challenge yourself with balance as well as get this nice sensation through your spine as you lengthen it a breath at a time. The yoga wheel can also be a great way to mobilize your spine in this way. So this is a camel variation where you allow the tops of your toes to rest on the wheel. Hands can support your lower back. Or you can choose to reach your hands back and hold on to the wheel. This posture is fantastic for lengthening your spine as well as opening through the hips and the quads. I love using the yoga wheel to practice this backbend variation of my pincher practice. Again, same way as you come up into your normal pincher, just lift your favorite leg up. Come into a split forearm balance and then start to press into your forearms as you bend the leg that is over the head and see if your toes can come closer towards touching the wheel. This is a challenging and very deep backbending inversion practice. So come into it with care and pay a lot of attention to how your spine is feeling. Hi guys, I hope that you found that yoga wheel tutorial helpful for you and you know how to make the most out of this little prop. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for additional yoga tips and classes delivered directly to your inbox. In the meantime, stay safe. Namaste.